Okay, Rankin Rover Report here. I am in Moscow Mills at TriTech Automation with James Mazel, who's the president of TriTech. So James, uh, you took the initiative to establish a partnership with Rankin. Why was that important to you? Uh, yeah, so partnerships with, with uh, organizations like Rankin are super important for people like us because we have a real uh, labor shortage right now in kind of the manufacturing and the industrial space. And, and being able to partner with organizations that are teaching the skills uh, that we need uh, to be able to be successful and help our manufacturing partners is, is, is critical for us and our growth. So again, having that constant communication and constant pipeline and being able to give opportunities to, to the kids is something that has a high interest for us. And, and you also hire a lot of ranking grads. Yeah, probably 33% of our people are ranking grads. So why, do you, why what, what benefit is that to you also for hiring our students? Yeah, we, we like the ranking grads because they are kind of more hands-on, more ready for the jobs that we have available right out of school. So, you know, they go to school for two years and they've already been exposed to the, to the applications and the devices and the and the things that we need them to do for our customers to help our customers be successful. So there's the idea out there that if you're gonna make it in this world, you need a four year degree. And you're hiring some people out of ranking where you're just getting an associate's degree in a trade. Mm -hmm. um, can people taking that route make a good living for themselves? Uh, yeah, yeah, so we, we, we have degreed engineers as well. And again, it's uh, college isn't for everybody. So again, I, I would encourage you if you are more hands-on, more more a doer, I would definitely suggest something like Rankin. And you know, right out of school, you can make just as much as an entry-level engineer, somewhere in that fifty thousand range. And then put in your time, and you can be at six figures inside of you know five years, maybe with experience and effort. Um, and now, you know, the the Rankin route for folks like us, we don't limit you. We don't require our guys to have a degree. And, and at a company like mine, the sky is the limit for you still. And it's all about your effort and your interest and all that. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot for your time and thanks for hiring our kids. Thank you guys. Appreciate all it. Bye right, bye. All right. So Rankin Rover Reporter out here in Moscow Mills at TriTech Automation with Andrew Gardaki. Did I say that right, Andrew? Yep. Andrew Gardaki. He's a Rankin alumni. And Rankin, uh, Andrew, talk to us about your path. It was a little bit different path than most, maybe. Uh, started out high school, went straight to the military, did uh, four years in the Marine Corps. After I got out, I was just uh, hopping around. I didn't really have a good trait from the Marine Corps to go into my civilian life. Uh, I started going to factories. I worked at True. Then I did a little bit of residential uh, electrician, and that was okay, but I wanted a little more, and uh, whenever I talked to, uh, I think it was Brandon at Rankin, mm -hmm. his, his name, he, uh, he told me about the electrical automation technician uh, school, and it kind of fit right into what I was looking for, uh, broadened my horizons a little bit, and just started going there at nights and worked in the day, and right so you were kind of working some jobs and thinking this isn't what i want to do the rest of my life i want to yeah i wanted i wanted to push something with uh gave uh avenue to progress yeah you know like all these other construction jobs i was doing it's like well i can make journeyman and then that's about it i top there it's mm -hmm. like here it, like sky's the limit you go fabricator you know designer engineer field work you know lots of plenty, options yeah, yeah. Plenty of options oh, that's great so uh, once you got to Rankin, what did, how did you find that experience? Uh, Rankin was awesome. Uh, it, I use a lot of the stuff that I learned from Rankin in here day one. Just uh, reading schematics was really huge. Uh, learning to wire properly, everything like that. Rankin really, really helped out with uh, this career path. That's great. I see you're representing there with your Rankin yeah. swag there today. My, my Appreciate that. Yeah, my company <laughs> shirts aren't in right now. Uh huh. So, um, oh, these things are actually pretty comfy. So that's <laughs> I was like, you know what, I'm sticking with these. Yeah, that's great. Well, we appreciate it. And yeah. uh, so, as you look back on your Rankin education, now where you're at in your career, do you see like that really set you up for success? Or? Oh, yeah, oh, without a doubt. It, just night and day. Like, if I were to hop, try to hop in this without any type of schooling or like any like way to read a print like Rankin teaches and just teaching you every single component, you know, the, that's it's just huge. So you're, if you were talking to a high school student or some any, I mean, maybe not a high school student, maybe someone more like yourself who took a different path and mm -hmm. and uh, they were considering Rankin, what would you say to them? Um, I 
wish I could have did this, you know, a lot sooner. It's actually been very nice. Uh, don't don't hesitate. Just <laughs> just get it out of the way. Get into it. Good it's, job. Uh, it's pretty good. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot for your time, Andrew. Best of luck to you. All right, thank you. All right. All right, this is uh, Rank and Rover Reporter out here at TriTech Automation. I am with Jacob Becker, who is another Rank and alumni working out at TriTech, and TriTech has hired quite a few of our um, alumni. So, Jacob, what can you tell us about uh, your thought process when you were deciding on what to do after high school? Uh, so, I was kind of started out planning to go to engineering school at first, and then I decided that I didn't want to be in school for another four years. Um, I met a lot of people that, that had very solid careers that had gone to Rankin, so I started to look into Rankin a little bit and decided to, to go ahead and take the leap and go to Rankin. Great. So when you got there, what did you think about it? Uh, I, I actually liked it quite a bit. Um, all through through high school and grade school and stuff, I was a decent student. I got good grades and everything, but I didn't really enjoy school. Uh, that was the, the big difference that I found at Rankin is that I actually got to Im got to apply the stuff that I was learning, and that's what I really liked about it. So I kind of looked forward to going to school sometimes. Great. Um, so after you left Rankin, kind of talk about your path from graduation to where you're at now. Sure. So I started out right out of Rankin. I started working for a Emerson local business partner uh, out of the, for the St. Louis area doing inside sales. Ultimately, I moved into their engineering group uh, as a controls technician kind of out in the field working in various industrial plants. Then I left and went to a skid manufacturer in St. Louis doing uh, electrical design programming kind of from scratch from the ground up. I uh, did that for a couple years and then I've been here at TriTech for almost five years now. Uh, started out as a controls engineer and now I've kind of moved into a business development role. Right. And what program were you in at Rankin? I did CST and EAT. And what does that stand for? So I did control systems technology and electrical automation technology. Great. So, and you like what you're doing now? Absolutely. Cool. So what you, as you look back on it, what did you think your rank in education did for you? How did it benefit you? Uh, it got me prepared to, to get into the workplace. Uh, I wouldn't say I was fully seasoned, but it, it gave me a baseline education to where I could, could come into the field and, and uh, get a solid start and then continue education through my employers after that. Right. So what would you say to a high school kid who's kind of decide maybe they might want to go to tech school, but they're thinking about four-year college because everybody says, hey, you got to get a four-year degree. Sure. What would you tell them? If you're a technically-minded person that you, you like to get your hands dirty and like to work with your hands and like to quickly apply what you're learning, I would strongly recommend going to Rankin. Um, you can, it's, a lot of it is you get out of Rankin what you put into it. So if you put in the time to really understand the material, you'll, you'll be fine. Awesome. Well, thanks a lot, Jacob. Best of luck to you in the future. Thank you. All right. Rank and Room Report here with Kyle Weldy out of TriTech Automation in Moscow Mills. Uh, Kyle's another Rankin alumni, a very recent Rankin alumni. So, uh, Kyle, why did you decide to go to Rankin? I decided to go to Rankin because uh, I saw all my friends going to, you know, the other universities, and I was I, I wanted to join a field that really needed me. And uh, I know Rankin teaches all the all the trades, you know, like construction, electric, plumbing stuff like that and all those right now are hurting for people so I figured everyone else is doing something doing something that's a very saturated field I'll go into the unsaturated field that needs people so that's really how I discovered Good thinking. it. Good What program did you decide on? I did electrical automation technology and control systems technology. So why did you decide that route? Um, originally I was going to do HVAC because I, I knew somebody that did HVAC and they're like oh yeah this go to rank and they'll, they'll teach you how to do everything so uh, and then I went to the Winsville location and they said, well, we don't have it out here. So uh, <laughs> he said, the next best thing is electrical. And I'm very glad that I landed in this field rather because I feel like electrical is a lot, a lot more broad than uh -huh. uh, just HVAC. But um, yeah, that's how I landed here. Great. What did you think of your education while you were at Rankin in your program? I think it provides a very good base, you know. Um, Especially, I like control system technology a lot, seeing the, you know, controlling flow and stuff like that, uh, working with kind of more uh, specific things, but it's really interesting putting it all together with like PLCs and stuff like that, and using the knowledge that I had from electrical automation technology, because that's the one that I went to first, and utilizing that in CST, so it all kind of comes together. Great. How about a little plug for your company? Tell us a little about TriTech. Well, I started here uh, three months ago, and I actually got the job by 
uh, from Rankin. They went out there, talked to all of us out there, and he gave me his business card. And I'm like, well, I kind of need a job. So I called him up from the from the thing, talked directly to the owner. And I was like, well, I want to come check out your uh, shop. And he walked me through and I was like, man, this place is pretty, pretty nice looking. So, um, and that was before I started CST. That was right after I graduated electrical automation. And uh, he's actually the one that said, yeah, do CST as well. It, it's really worth it. So I did that and uh, my schedule was coming here at five o'clock in the morning, leaving at 7.30 to go to CST until 2.30. So really shows my work ethic. Yeah, yeah. Did you learn that at Rankin or were you already a hard worker? Uh, I guess I learned, I, I guess I learned at Rankin, you know, they they make sure you're, you're there, learn the material, you know, like especially, I don't have my stuff on right now, but the, they have a uniform, uh, you know, clothing policy. So they really make sure you have a good work ethic while you're there. That's awesome. All right. Well, thanks a lot, Kyle. Best luck to you. Thank you. Okay, it's a Rankin Rover reporter here. I'm at TriTech Automation talking to John Willie, another Rankin alumni. So, uh, John, tell us about your thought process when you were deciding what to do after high school. Why did you decide to go to Rankin? Uh, I actually waited until I was about 28 oh. to go to school. All right. Um, just took other paths. Uh, one day I woke up, realized I needed to get a better education than I have, and just the name rank and you can't really do much better, especially around the area. And I, I know people that have gone, I know people that uh, work for companies that hire 75 to 100 percent ranking. So it's kind of it's kind of a no brainer where to go. It was just what to do from there. So you kind of tried out other things and realized this wasn't doing it for me. I worked in a warehouse for about 10 years and uh, it was time to move on. Uh huh. So what did you once you got to rank and what did you like about it? Uh, I like the atmosphere. I like that your instructors either currently or previously work in the field. Um, they don't just give you a textbook and teach, read from the textbook. They're 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 teaching from experience, cool. and uh, they're all, they're really cool. They teach you more than just uh, what you're doing, but how to be an employee yeah. and work ethic and all that. What program were you in? Control system technology. Great. And so uh, after you graduate, you were saying that you started here pretty much right away, after, or even before you graduated. Uh, I started a few days after I had the job. Before I graduated, I just had to put two weeks into my old job, but uh, a kid I went to school with at Rankin started here a few months before we graduated, and he said, this is the place to go. Great. So what has you, now that you've been working for a while, what do you feel like your Rankin education did for you? To, that's really helpful for you uh, now. Really got me a head start. Uh, I went to night school, uh, working during the day, so it was a lot of touch and go on things, but they did, they definitely uh, point you in the right direction. E even if it's something that we didn't spend a lot of time on it in night school, I can recognize it and uh, bring things up and still have my books in case I need to use those. Great. All right, well, John, thanks a lot. Best of luck to you. Thank you. All right. Housed in the Langenberg and Cook buildings, the Electrical Technology Division offers students the expertise and hands-on training necessary to meet the growing needs of companies with electronic control and distribution systems. From installing and maintaining basic electrical systems to operating an entire facility through an electronically controlled network, the Electrical Technology Division trains students on state-of-the-art equipment in our modern technical labs. This division's three programs share the same first-year curriculum, allowing students to develop a solid knowledge of the fundamentals of electricity and automation. After the first year, students have the opportunity to decide in which of the three programs they will continue. Through lecture, shop, and lab activities, first-year students receive instruction and training in electrical theory, automation electronics and logic control, residential and commercial electrical systems, power distribution, and the National Electric Code. Control systems influence the speed and efficiency of businesses that rely on highly automated processes including thermal and fluid principles as well as technical systems. Ranging from a few basic instruments to a complex network of personal and industrial computers, electronic controls and intelligent instruments, 
Process control systems are often used to monitor and operate an entire manufacturing facility from the convenience of one computer. Rankin's Electrical Automation Technology Program produces skilled electricians. Students enrolled in the program are trained to install, maintain, troubleshoot, and repair electrical systems including power distribution, variable frequency motor drives, industrial motor controls, industrial networking, switching circuits, human machine interfaces, and programmable logic controllers. Students enrolled in the Electrical Systems Design Technology program use Campus Labs for the study of electrical wiring and blueprints, industrial controls, circuitry, machinery, and power distribution. Students also complete an electrical design and layout project using computer-aided drafting to complete a set of drawings, details, and other necessary documentation for electrical distribution throughout a building.